hi. <laughs> thank you. Is that was that uh, James? Thank you, James, for pointing that out. Uh, much appreciated. I'm gonna start over. Um, yeah, thanks, Fun. Uh, my name is Ruel Gaviola, and this is Tabletop Tonight with my co-host, my wife, Michelle. Hello. Uh, thank you for the audio check, by the way, friends. Really appreciate it. Um, I had something on my mouth earlier. I'm not going to repeat that. So, <laughs> 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 Happy Monday to you all. Hope you're doing well, wherever you are. I want to thank you for joining us tonight. We've got a really fun game um, ahead of us called Seven Summits. Uh, thanks to our friends at Deepwater Games. I saw Nolan in the house earlier. Thank you for joining us, Nolan. As always, Amanda Panda is our chat moderator. She's here, so please behave, and she won't have to bust out the band hammer on y'all. Uh, Heroic Logic's in the house. James is in the house, who helped us with the audio check. Fong Odin's in the house. Thank you. AJ Gamer's back here. Thank you, AJ. Eclect the Camel's in the house. Thanks, Eclect the Camel. Good to see you on here. Uh, William Wolf, as always. Thank you, William. Um, let's see. Who else is in here? We got all kinds of people here. This is great. The whole fan band. Yeah, the whole fan band is here. Thank you for joining us, friends. Um, I, like we're saying, Seven Summits tonight from Deepwater Games. We're excited to play this one. I'm a fan of Daryl Andrews' um, game design, and he did one of our favorites, uh, Sagrada. Oh, Sagrada, yeah. Right? Yeah, so we love that game. This is another one of his games. Uh, this is very different than Sagrada. This is a uh, push-your-luck game with dice and um, cool ways to mitigate the dice, and um, it's, uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be our first time playing tonight. We just learned it literally a few <laughs> minutes ago. <laughs> uh, Distance yeah. Battles, and a hi, Distance Battle. Thanks for joining us. Um, before we get going, though, as always, we have to start with our stream snacks, friends. So, what are you eating and or drinking? Um, Michelle, you had a nice little treat before we came on air. Would you like to share that? I finished my stream snack as you know <laughs> I, I, I tend to do that more and more um yeah i had an ice cream bar i had it's ron con pasas so ron con pasas. rum and raisin from our um local um ice cream store yeah. la michoacana and so good yeah and i don't know it's basically it is ice cream on a stick it's and i don't know why i thought it was a good idea to start eating from <laughs> You know, the, the stick part going the opposite way. Yeah, he's so, going backwards tonight for some reason. It, well, it just seemed like a good idea because I thought <laughs> maybe, you know, if I didn't finish it, you know, I could just, you know, pull the wrapper up over it. Yeah. And then it just got mushy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had to eat it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we, um, I, I have mine uh, still in the freezer. I'm going to um, eat it afterwards. Um, Don't it's... eat. From the stick I, I have learned <laughs> I've learned my lesson yeah I'm gonna I have a, a pina or a pineapple flavored one uh, it's so good it's our local uh, uh, ice creamery um, uh, La Michoacana so it's you know the uh, paletas and you know Mexican style um, ice cream which we love and thankfully even though we're in the midst of a pandemic they've been able to keep their doors open yeah um, they do delivery which is funny through Postmates but uh, I usually go down there, and they're really good about, you know, everyone's wearing masks, and they only allow five people in the store at, the, at a time. And Ooh, that's good. Yeah, everyone has to stay six feet apart and stuff like that, and they have hand sanitizer everywhere. So I'm happy for them um, that they're still able to stay in business, and we like to support when we can. Um, even though it's cold out, uh, I mean, for Southern California, it's, it's chilly. <laughs> but I always like ice cream on a cold day. I don't know why. Have you always, have you, do you like ice cream cold days? I like ice cream on, in any kind of weather. <laughs> agreed, agreed. Best time, summertime, of course. But yeah, I think ice cream during the cold weather, for some reason, it's always, always a nice little treat. Well, I have the ice cream and I have my hot tea. And this is courtesy <laughs> of Amanda Panda. Oh, yeah. This is the candy cane green tea. Oh, how from, do you like it? I like it. Yeah? Well, yeah, I like mint tea. Okay, yeah. Stuff, so, nice. yeah. And I like green tea, so it was a win-win. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I've got my uh, LaCroix uh, lime flavor tonight. Um, I've had, let's see, I had the pamplemousse or the grapefruit recently and also the lemon. Do you have to say it, like, uh, with a French accent? Uh, LaCroix. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it, it's funny because I, when I first saw it, I, I would say LaCroix. But then people were saying it's LaCroix, like the American style. So I don't know where it's... Whatever, IDK. Yeah, IDK, whatever the <laughs> hipsters call it. Uh, let's check out the uh, uh, chat here and just catch up a little bit. Thanks again, friends, for hanging out with us tonight. Uh, let's see, Rocket. Oh, yeah, thanks for the Catan clock that we got that back there. Thanks for our friends at Catan. Is it the right time? Yeah, it is the right time. Is it time. TikTok or Click Clock? Uh, click Clock, TikTok, <laughs> I don't know. 
you kids and your technology. Uh, AJ is uh, about to make dinner. Very nice. Oh, James just had ice cream too. Cool. Deadpan's in the house. Hi, Deadpan. Uh, I'm drooling. Yeah. So it's 85 degrees? Yes. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah, for Southern California. Burr. Yeah. Like, I, had to, I had to wear a jacket today, you know. <laughs> Oh, well, well, said sub-70 is too damn cold. I agree. Mm -hmm. well, well, absolutely. Ice cream is always welcome. It's 26. Oh, my God. It's 26 degrees. Uh, but, yeah, I would totally eat ice cream when it's 26 degrees. Sea salt caramel. Oh, my goodness. That sounds sea good. Sea salt caramel anything. Yeah, It's delightful. All right. Uh, oh, Collective Cow's got the uh, Bruno emote. Yeah, nice. Got the Bruno <laughs> emotes all um, decked out. But, yeah, that's our stream snacks, folks. Hope you're having a good stream snack uh, session as well. Um, let me see. A couple of announcements real quick. First, tomorrow, um, I believe at 9 a.m., I will be reading chapter one of this book, Star Wars, The High Republic, Into the Dark. Uh, this is the new, um, like, world slash, they're building this new thing over in the Star Wars universe. It's The High Republic. It's 200 years before episode one. Um, right now, they're coming out with books and graphic novels. And we all know eventually it's going to be turned into either... I'm pretty sure it's a TV series. I don't know if they've made it official yet, but it's... I, I have a feeling it's going to be ripe for all that type of stuff. So, last week I read chapter one of... Um, oh my gosh. Uh, something... I, I forget. The, uh, Light of the Jedi. That's it. So, Light of the Jedi. That was the first book. Into the Dark. This is the next one. I believe this is um, a Padawan and follows his adventures uh, in, in this world. So, again, 200 years before episode one. Uh, Star Wars The High Republic. They also have um, a middle school, um, uh, what was it, like a, for middle school kids. Uh, I read part of that one as well. Um, I totally forgot the name of that. But uh, they have, so they have officially three books and they will be coming out with, you know, comics and or graphic novels. So if you're available tomorrow, join me at 9 a.m. Pacific here on uh, the Twitch channel. Uh, let's see. Hey, pug butts. <laughs> oh, we love our pugs here, folks. Uh, mm -hmm. I do not get the love for salty. Oh, North of the West, not, not your jam, huh? You know, our daughter doesn't like it either. Yeah, yeah. By the way, thanks for joining us, Nerds of the West. Uh, appreciate it. Yeah, well, I'm, I know we like it. It's yeah. that whole, I, I'm always a fan of salty and sweet. And for the most part, I like everything that is salty, sweet. And yeah. there are a few things I've tried where I, I don't like it. Yeah. But, like... The salted uh, caramel stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I know about that. our friend Amanda, she makes cookies for us all the time. And she uses, she'll use the, like, salt on, um, what is it, some of the cookies that she's done, correct? I think it's salted uh, chocolate chip or espresso. But, I don't know, something about the salt really brings, I feel like it brings out the flavor of, you know, the sweet as well. But I think it's a nice combo. But, again, not for everyone. Uh, let's see. Distant Battle Nice. Last Star Wars novel I read was Honor Among Thieves by Corey. The authors or the expansers. Oh, cool. Uh, Eclectic Camel, I believe you are correct, sir. Sea salt caramel rules the world. <laughs> <laughs> we need to have t-shirts made. Yeah. <laughs> <Say> yeah. <that. laughs> but um, I would say, yeah, I, I do like the salty and sweet. I can't remember if there's anything I don't like. That's I do prefer, like, dark chocolate with the salt, salt on it. Yeah. yeah. I've sort of, I don't know, lately the, the milk chocolate hasn't been doing it for me the last few years. I've become more of a dark chocolate. I think it's just that a little... It's supposed to be healthier. Yeah, it's healthier, right? So I like uh -huh. to stay healthy. <laughs> healthy. Um, I, I like the... Just nod and smile. Yeah, I, I like the, the bitterness, I think, of uh, the dark chocolate. Uh, dark chocolate is like, yeah. I crush potato chips for cookies. Ooh. I have not nice. tried that. Well, I think, number one, because we don't buy potato chips very often at yeah. all. Yeah. And yeah. Do you uh collect a camel, do you use um like just plain chips or do you crush like flavored chips? I feel like like with the chocolate chip cookie, I think like crushed lays would be nice with that. And there was like that Jimmy Fallon like ice cream flavor that Ben and Jerry's came out with and it had like potato chips in it or something like that. I feel like I've had something like that yeah. before and yeah. I I surprisingly liked it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Distant Babble says, I introduced my nephews to sorbet back in 2019. It's all they asked for. And, oh, nice. I don't know. Have we had a good sorbet lately? I can't remember. Not well, lately. I've made it before. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I haven't made anything. Yeah, it's, it's been a while. <laughs> like that lately. So. Yeah. Now, Michelle did make, you made a really tasty, um, uh, bread. Uh, zucchini, oh, okay. zucchini, or not zucchini. Uh, yeah, lemon zucchini. Lemon zucchini bread. Oh, it's delightful. 
Um, it's not healthy. But. Yeah, it's not healthy. And I was going to use that for my stream snack, but I, did we eat it all? Or is there like one little piece? There is the little bit left. Yeah, I'll, hopefully it's, uh, I'll, I'll try it. Well, I don't know. I'm either going to do that or ice cream afterwards. Uh, we'll <laughs> see. Regular chips, the salt and texture is really nice. Agreed, agreed, agreed. Uh, thank you again, friends, for hanging out. Let us know what you're playing these days, uh, board game-wise. Hope you had a great weekend of gaming, or maybe you didn't, and you just played games today. doesn't matter. Let us know what's happening. Uh, we're going to take a look at this fun game right now. It is... Oh, first got to use the forest. Whoop! There we are. <laughs> um, this is Seven Summits from Deepwater Games. Oh. Um, this is... Whoops. There. I just want to read this comment from Stitch BC. Yeah. Howdy from Chile and Wet BC. I'm here because of Monique and Naveen. We love them. Oh, nice. It's lovely hearing about other kind humans. Oh, thank you, Stitch. That's so nice of you. Really appreciate it. Yeah, we love Monique and Naveen. Uh, they're friends in, in real life. and uh, IRL. IRL, yeah, as, as y'all say uh, these days. But they're, yeah, they, they're just uh, super nice human beings. I was, I was very fortunate to play a game with... Monique over the internet um, on Saturday over on uh, Becca Scott's channel, Good Time Society. That was a real treat. We played, uh, Jake Michaels hosted it, and then me, Monique, and um, Sam Smith of the uh, Lord of the Board channel. We got to play QE, which is a fantastic uh, auction bidding game. If you haven't played QE, folks, yet, please check it out. It, it is awesome. And it actually worked well. We played it on uh, Tabletop Simulator. And I'm not the biggest fan of TTS, but mm -hmm. it, it worked on that and that platform. There was a way that you could hide your bids from everyone, and then the person looking at the bids, there was a way for them that only they could see. It. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I was kind of wondering how that was gonna work. Yeah, you basically like clicked on a couple of buttons, and it would only show up on your screen, but not everyone else's. So yeah, I didn't, I didn't catch the stream. because yeah. I was preparing for today is first day back to school. Oh, that's right. We didn't even talk about. That. I'm gonna uh, come back here. We've been super busy today, and I literally, Michelle's been in her office, the other room. I've been in this office. Um, how was your day? I mean, we basically just it been was, in our offices all day. Yeah, I mean, it, my day wasn't bad because I'm kind of switching up the format mm. where I'm just meeting. Well, today was like the mandatory, like, orientation meeting. Mm. And, um, yeah, so I basically had two big meetings, and then I had a bunch of, like, smaller meetings with, you know, individual yeah. students because um, I have some new kids, too. Okay. So they're not familiar with, you know, the curriculum that we use. Yeah. So instead of having a whole class full of kids, I am going to just be meeting with each student individually. Mm -hmm. That's cool. See, that works any yeah. better. Yeah, yeah. No, that's good. I, I know I, I've just been buried in here. Just like, I feel like today, uh, I'm going to get back to the game real quick. Okay. Though. So um, I feel like today for me, I've been just pouring, going nonstop. And this is going to be, I mean, you know, just all day long work 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 and but i feel like i didn't get enough done so that's the story of my life <laughs> i know so like to this has been this is a welcome break we're gonna play the game chill out with y'all in chat and then i don't know I, I i tell myself i'm gonna go back to work i i feel like i should probably just call it a night after this but we'll see um yeah thanks everyone for welcome stitch bc we're gonna give you the hearts uh stitch bc thank you the hearts and the little the hearts, hearts. <laughs> Appreciate y'all hanging out. Uh, we actually played a deep water game recently, Sovereign Skies. Oh, yeah, I haven't played that one yet, Disembattled. That one looks good. Um, but Seven Summits, folks. This is, uh, you'll see all the D4s. Um, I think uh, uh, Odin mentioned it. Uh, they The D4s all correspond to one of the um, mountains here. So what Seven Summits is, Michelle and I are going to be climbing the highest mountains in each of the seven continents. We have Mount Vinson, and part of, part of my pronunciations, um, Mount Denali here in the U.S. Yeah, um, see what's up with Bruno. Oh yeah, we hear we hear Bruno, our pug, um, in the other room. He's making some there's some kind of commotion. So hopefully hopefully we'll bring Bruno in the studio. Uh, we have oh my gosh, um, I'm gonna have to read this here. Uh, we have Mount uh, Elbrus uh, in Russia. We have Mount Kilimanjaro in um, Tanzania. Uh, Mount Denali, as I said, Mount uh, Aconcua, Asuncagua in Argentina. I'm going to have to ask Michelle to help me with that one. And of course, oh, Puncak, uh, Puncak Jaya in um, Indonesia. Oh, Indonesian Island of New Guinea. And then finally, Mount Everest right there in the middle. Uh, babe, how do you say this one here? This is in, Ar in South America. Aconcagua? Aconcagua? Aconcagua. Aconcagua. Okay. 
uh, uh, does not compute. Uh, five dice and seven some. Okay, hey, Distant Doubt Babel, thanks for redeeming 100 Bruno points. Um, <gasps> Can we hear Bruno? Bruno, um, well, if he doesn't feel like it, that's okay. Can he might be him? ready later. He's sort of just chilling it on the table here. <laughs> we'll bring out Bruno soon enough. Um, there are actually six dice. Uh, I think one of them is hidden. Uh, yeah, there's six. So on your turn, what are you going to do? We're just going to have Michelle roll the dice tonight. Oh, we're going to leave that there. She's going to roll them in there and then place them, depending on where they roll, um, depend are going onto their color. Respective colors. Respective colors. Thank you. I cannot talk tonight, which is probably a good thing. Um, <laughs> So there are the six uh, colored dice for each of the mountains. And the actor player will begin. They will so select one of these dice and go up the mountain. So if Michelle, she is going to be the UK blue tonight. I'll be Germany, the yellow team tonight. And she's going to select this and then go up the mountain. So um, one, two, three. Oops. One, two, three. Okay. Is that where it starts? Yeah. And now she can either press on or she can stop there. So if she stops there, she just puts the die there. And that's my turn. I would take a die and then move up a mountain. However, you may press your luck, basically, or press on. What you do is take that colored die, and then you take the risk die. You roll them. Um, you know, this reminds me of that stop sign game. Yeah, can't stop. Yeah. I, I feel like it's got a little bit of that. Yeah. Bella, thanks for all the uh, Bruno emotes, folks. James, uh, Panda, mm -hmm. Dis and Babel, thank you. So many Bruno emotes. Uh, this die, uh, this means you're safe. And then, of course, here I rolled a one. Oh. So I would go up one spot, or Michelle would go up one spot. Now, if she ends her turn where there is a skill or a... Oh, oh my goodness. There's Bruno the Pug. The big baby. If she ends her turn where there is a skill <laughs> or a... Um, oh, my gosh, what is this called? A discovery, a discovery token, she may take that. Okay, so in this case, she takes a discovery token. There's um, random things assigned. I've just randomly placed them on the board, and it's either it'll help you climb up a mountain or do stuff. If you land on a skill, one of these marks here, you'll go up the skill um, level here and get that reward. So if I had uh, Michelle had stopped her, or ended her turn with this on the preparation uh, icon, she would take a mission card. Okay, the mission cards we both have one to start the game. Those are end game scoring points. So it's like, A, you know, you get two extra points if you uh, summit Denali or something like that. There's a bunch of different ones here. Um, so then if you, the, when you end your turn, you just put the die up there. And then it's the other player's turn. We go back and forth until all the dice are gone. That round is over. And then we start the next one and uh, roll the dice again. Now, how do you get up Mount Everest? I'm glad you asked, Ruel. Well. To go up Mount Everest, you, can, you may take any one of these dice... And use it. So let's say I want to go up Mount Everest. I take the yellow die and I go up four, one, two, three, four, and then I roll because it's risky. Mount Everest is the highest mountain in the world, right? You're gonna roll two of the risk dice. And I'm gonna, uh, I want to make sure this uh, rule here. I believe you just, um, you may, if you decide to press on. Oh, okay. So I would take the four and go there, one, two, three, four. Now, if I decide to press on, that's why I roll both the dice rather than one risk dice. So the dice, oh, Bruno, he's all, hi, <laughs> folks, I'm going to move, and there's, there's our pug, Bruno, say hi, Bruno, he's our pug, Bruno, he's always in the, the game room, but, oh, hey, hey, buddy, hey, sweet boy, hey, what are you doing, so, thanks for the shout outs for all the Bruno emails, thank you, James, thank you, Amanda, always appreciated, um, we're going to get back to the game, Bruno, do you want to climb mountains, he wants he to wants climb my lap. He wants Benny. Oh, oh, he's looking for <laughs> Benny the Bit Spare. Oh, no, Bruno. Okay. Come here, sweet okay, boy. Go back to Michelle. Okay. Boy. Oh, oh, my goodness. Okay. You're a heavy boy. So, as you'll notice here on the um, our cards here, thanks for redeeming the 100 points, uh, James. Oh, yeah, he's licking my elbow again. <laughs> uh, Bruno's playing the role of Sherpa tonight. <laughs> oh. Bruno's the Sherpa. Um, as you move up uh, these spots here on your track, you're going to get uh, equipment cards, which will help you do stuff. So, for instance, this equipment card, the headlamp. Move all climbers on a mountain up two spaces. Do not collect rewards from any spaces landed on. Okay. And you can use the cards uh, immediately or later on your turn. Quit licking me, please. Sweet boy. Let me shuffle these back in. So there's some other cards here, like uh, the ice axe. Uh, this allows you to reroll any two mountain dice. And again, you may use these at any time. Now, the, the thing is, 
when you stop on one of these, that's when you get the reward. If you pass it, um, you know, by using the dice and it, you go past it, you don't collect it. You only collect it if you uh, end your turn there. Now, to summit the, each mountain, uh, how do you summit? That's a great question. Well, glad you asked. To summit, you must roll the exact number to get there. So let's say I was here two spots away from Denali. One, two. I have to use a, uh, a die. I have to roll two. Now, if this was a three, I could say, you know, I'm going to press on. So I'd roll that, re roll that die with the uh, wrist die and then go from there. The wrist die, oh, in this case, I would have made it. So I, so I rolled a safe and I rolled a two. So one, two, and then I go there and I get those points that are assigned to the, uh, reaching the mountaintop. Okay. Um, on the wrist die, there are a couple of faces here. Uh, let's just look at those real quick. Um, this is the safe spot, of course. Uh, if you roll one of these, it has a number on it, like a one or a two. You're going to subtract those number of spaces from the uh, four-sided die. And finally, if you roll the dreaded avalanche, ah, the avalanche, you fall all the way off the mountain back to the... Uh, uh, oh, avalanche. that's not cool. I didn't even know about that. Yeah, that's one of the six faces. So oh. climb carefully, my friends. Climb carefully. Uh, one thing I should note here, this line right here, you'll notice uh -huh. it divides the mountains from red and blue. Uh -huh. That line is called the plateau. Uh, if you're above the plateau, some of the cards will tell you, like, you get a bonus or something like that. Oh. Okay. So be aware. Do you have to use all the pips on the die at the beginning of the mountain? Um, that's a great question, Stitch. Uh, I don't believe so. I think you can use as much as you may want to make a choice. Um, you can you may play. Um, if I don't know if Nolan's still in the chat, but Nolan, can you like if if there was a four, Nolan, could I just take the one? Uh, hopefully, Nolan's uh, still in, in in the house here. I believe you can stop. Distant Babble says, "Seems like somebody had a good nap." <laughs> yeah, it's mm -hmm. what he does best. That's right. Okay, move your climb equal. Equal to the number on the chosen mountain die. So I don't think you can. You may move up only on the mountain matching the color of the die or on Everest. Yeah, I think you have to use that um, that number. I don't think you you can do um, you can change. Uh, we'll play it that way for now. Okay. So, anyways, that's the basic game. Um, Michelle has been randomly chosen to go first. So I'll give you all the mountain dice. I think it's appropriate they use four-sided because they look like mountains. <laughs> okay. And thanks for joining us, folks. This is Seven Summits from Deepwater Games. Okay, so I just place these yeah. in their respective um, colors. Yep. And there's that. Ooh, a four. Um, there's the green, blue, and red. Bruno wants to come back up here, but he's hey, kind of like... He really wants to get Benny the bit spare. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take a look at my mission one more time just to make sure I know what oh. I'm doing. Yeah. yeah, I got distracted. Yeah. Okay. So Michelle, she is first to select a die to climb up the mountain. Okay. So, um, you know, I think I'm going to take this one here. So I would move one, two, three, four and land on that thingy. Okay. Do you want to end your turn? Oh. Because you could always press on, but you don't, if you, if you end your turn and you're there, then you would get that. But you may press on. No, I want the thing. Oh, yeah. Probably okay, so call. this is a carabiner, or is that how you say it? Carabiner? Carabiner? Is that, yeah. You say carabiner, folks? Um, I say biner, just because it, I don't know, that's the way it looks to me. Yeah. On the game, they're called discovery tokens. Um, oh, well, no, see that picture. Yeah, that's they're, they're called, they're called discovery tokens, but they are um, carabiners. Okay. Yep. So, so let me just get this straight. So if I take this, that's the end of my turn? Yep, and you would put this up here. Okay. Hi, so, Games of Fire. Thanks for joining us. So could I have moved another one of my meeples or no? Uh, if you chose one of those colors. Oh, but I can only move, like, I can only do this column. I couldn't do, like, this one and this one. Correct. Okay. Unless, well, we're going to go back and forth. So now it's my turn. I'm okay. going to select and then you'll select gotcha. that. Gotcha. Uh, for that one, do you want to use it now or later? Um, later. Okay. Uh, so yeah, just hold on to that. So were these placed randomly? They were placed randomly, okay. yes. Um, let's see. I've always heard it as carab 
carabiner. A carrot carabiner? No, carabiner. Okay. Carabiner. Yeah, I thought it was. Uh, I, I honestly don't know. We're obviously not mountain climbing folk. <laughs> I call them thingies. Yeah. <laughs> those, those hooky thingies. <laughs> I believe that's the technical term. Um, one other thing that we should note that uh, you're going to see these two parts on our boards, the expertise, which are the ropes, and the preparation, which are the, looks like little sleeping bags. Oh, um, I was going to say toilet paper. Toilet paper. Toilet hey, paper. That's, that's probably, yeah, that could you be know, You know, you got to be prepared with that's, your toilet paper. That's right. <laughs> uh, when you land and stop there, you move your token and get the bonus. There's another one called teamwork. You won't see that on the board. What that, how teamwork happens, folks, is if you end on a square, uh, space with another player, that's when you move up on teamwork because it's almost semi-cooperative. Like if you go up there, then you're being a team, and you're gonna go up here, and the first uh, reward is move um, any meeple one space. Okay, and let me make sure. Yeah, move. Yeah, any any of your climbers. Okay. So when you finish climbing or reach a space by using skills or equipment that contains another player's climber, uh, all players on that space move up one space on their skill skill track. Oh, all players. Cool. The active player resolves a newly unlocked corresponding skill first, by, uh, followed by the other players. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, so it's my turn. I'm going to take one here. Uh, I'm going to end my turn because I want that expertise. And that's going to give me a equipment. I have an emergency beacon. Uh, if I roll uh, avalanche on the wrist die and are above the plateau, so if I'm in the blue squares, uh, you cannot fall below it. Oh. So that's cool. So I'm definitely going to save that for my run at um, Everest. Okay. And um, Michelle's turn. So I am going to move four over okay. here. So that would be one, two, oh. No, I thought there was another. I thought I, four was going to land me here, yeah. but it's not. Correct. Okay, so just kidding. Yep. Um, well, that's not going to do me much good. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move this one because okay. I don't know. Yeah. I'm going to get this right here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I am going to... Oh, I took the thing. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. So, so you landed. Uh, oh, where did I go? Uh, you're one here. It would just go here. Okay, I don't want this thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't reach it right now, right? What was I looking at? Oh, you know what? I was looking at this. Uh, oh, okay. 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 <laughs> okay just kidding. Okay. okay. So, so let me rethink this. <laughs> okay. So if I do three here, mm -hmm. there's one, two, three. That's still not going to get me anything. Yeah. I want stuff. I know. So this is the, this is what's interesting to me already off the, right off the bat. Like, do you want to go as high as you can, or do you want to go slowly to pick up a bunch of stuff? So, yeah, I like that part of this game. Um, you know, I think I'm just gonna move here. Okay, so I'm gonna mm -hmm. move three, and I'm blue. Mm -hmm. So one, two, three, but I don't get anything. Do you want to press on? I do want to press on. All right, here we go, folks. First so, press of the game. What do I game. do with this? You're gonna re-roll that with a risk die. Oh. Good luck. Okay. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, so I got one and I don't know what this means. One and minus two. So it's negative one. You <laughs> move down one. <laughs> well that's no fun. Now I, I I don't know if you can if you continue after rolling a negative. I would like to. Yeah, I don't know if I, I can like keep can. going. Yeah. Um So I'm gonna be staying at the bottom of this no, mountain. Your climb is over, you may not press on any more this turn. <sighs> Well, okay. all righty then. So, where does this go? At the top of the, that one. Denali? Denali. Okay. Okay. And then I will go, you know, I'm going to press here. Or I'm going to go here. I'm going to climb one, two, three, four. Excuse me. Use um, on uh, Pung, Pung Sak Jai. Uh, and I'm going to press. I'm going to try to get to the top. So, I'm going to roll this. I've rolled a two and an avalanche. Boo earns. But you can't go past that line. Like, you can't go below it. Uh, this is a one-time thing. So do oh. I use it now, or do I save it for Everest? I think I'm going to save it for Everest. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably a wise thing. Yeah, because that, that mountain uh, in this game is pretty low. So. Okay, so does this go up at the top, then? This red thing? Uh, yeah, and I go back to the bottom. 
Uh, you may use any number or discard them after you, so I'm not going to use it yet. Okay. Okay, so we have these other ones here mm -hmm. that uh, aren't really going to do me any good. So I will just move one, I guess. Oh, okay. wait, I moved twice. <laughs> <laughs> My little meeple guy goes there. Okay. You may press. Uh, yeah, you know, you I, might I as think well, I right? It's that low. Go, 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 okay. go. Okay, ooh, so that's at a four, and what is this? So that's minus one? Yep. Okay, so three. Oh, nice. So one, two, three, eight, still, I don't get any goodies. You may press. I'm a press. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is, can't stop, can't Again, stop. I have no control. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. No, once you went negative, uh, that's the end of oh, your turn. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's only if it's um, the uh, safe one. Okay. Question, Stitch, if a backwards roll lands you on a chit, that gives you one of those bonus, do you get it? Yes, you do. As long as you land on it, something, you will get it, yeah. Lucho AB's in the house. Hey, thanks for joining us, Lucho. It's been a while. Good to see you on here. Um, my turn, right? Yes. I'll take the one here. I'm going to press. I rolled a three and a safe. So one, two, three, eight. Perfect. I'm going to stop there. Um, that is preparation, so I get a new mission card, and this will be secret. Okay. Okay. Uh, that is that. That's the end of round, folks. Now all we do is our climbers are still there, and Michelle, um, we're gonna. Well, I'll, I'll, t I'm technically first, but Michelle has a dice tray. She will be the one in charge of rolling okay. dice. Okay. Yeah, it does sort of have that can't stop feel to it. Yeah, with the little extra. Yeah, yeah. I like it. One, two, three, one. Two, yeah, we, we just got in the can't stop recently, and it's a classic push your push your luck game. Okay. Ooh, I see a lot of ones. Boo Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, this one's low too. That's a two. Here's the one. Ooh, this is a four. One and two. Okay. I'm first, right? Yeah. I'm going to use the four. I um, thought <laughs> you were going to say the force. The force. I am going <laughs> to use the force to go up this uh, up Mount Everest. So, but don't you have to stay on green? No. So Everest uh, is the one exception. You can take any die you want to go up Everest. Oh. Okay. So I'm going to go I one, know. two, three, four. Do I press? Do it. Do, do it, it. Do it. it. Do it. I want to get up there at least to use my emergency beacon. Uh, yeah, I'm going to press. Okay, Games of Fire says I can't, or no, I enjoy Can't Stop. I added pink pieces I got from BGG. Oh, cool. Nice. I rolled a three and a uh, safe. So one, two, oh, three. Oh, wow. <laughs> do I go for it? You know what? I'm going to chill do there. It, I'm going to wait. I want to wait for another die. So um, this one's done on Everest. And it's Michelle's turn. Wow, so because you took that, I can't move up Kilimanjaro. Yeah, unfortunately. <sighs> okay, well, I'm going to move up, what is this, Vincent? Vincent, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to move up two, so one, two, and it's on the toilet paper. Mm -hmm. You want to so, stop there? Um, so if I stop there, I can move this thing up, right? Correct. And I get a card? Yep, mission card. I'm going to stop there, and I'm going to get a mission card. Nice. Yeah, a lot of uh, folks, if y'all like uh, Can't Stop, hi, or if you have never played Can't Stop, highly recommend it. Um, yeah, we see some uh, friends in the uh, chat here. Games of Fires likes it, yeah. What are Discovery tokens? Are those uh, these, these things? The carabiners? Uh, carabiners, carabiners, yeah. My go, right? Yes. Okay, I'm going to go... Um... I'm going to go here. Use one here to get a discovery. Oh, no, I'm short a discovery token. Oh, man. What is this? This is the one here. I'm going to press. Four minus two is two. One, two. Yeah, Stitch BC says, oh, I see what you did there, taking dice away from Michelle. So there's a wee bit of take that. Yeah, definitely some take that. That was a lot of take that. <laughs> <laughs> You're up there. Um, well, alrighty then. Um, so, well, that's not going to get me anything. 
Let me check my mission cards again. Okay. Um, I am going to move up one okay. onto the Nolly, and I would like to press. All right. Michelle's going to press on. Let's go, go, go. Okay, so one, and I'm safe. Yep. Ooh. And I get a thing. If you stop there. If I stop there. <laughs> can't stop. Can't stop. Um, oh, you know I can't control myself. <laughs> um, now, you, if you stop there, you would get a, a equipment cart, which I feel like are pretty nice. Yeah, I get something. Yeah. So I, I think I will stop there. I think it's a pretty easy sell. Okay. What'd you get? I got rope. Move three spaces on a mountain where someone is ahead of you. Ooh. Oh. So thank you for taking my die. Wow. <laughs> Would you like to use that now or later? Later. Yep. Good call. You know, when maybe I'm on Mount, Mount Everest. Mount, <laughs> yeah, Mount Everest or something, you know. Uh, Barry's in the house. Hi, Barry. Thanks for joining us. Um, my turn. I'm going to go with... Um, darn, I don't want to pass it. Uh, i got to pass it. I'll take the two here. Uh, so one, two. Uh, I'm going to press, though. Let's see what I can get. So we are playing seven summits. Ooh, four. And I'm safe. Uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, so Holy close. moly. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I got to go for it. Do it. Do, do it. it. So if I, since I'm safe, I can press. I don't think I have to roll another die. Let me check. Uh, when I go, when I press the second time. Uh, nope. I just, oh, come on. Safe. Yes! Oh, oh but no! Oh, but because you have to roll exactly... Have to roll exact... What is it? You would have to... Two. Two? Okay. So I need to roll two, folks. I'm, I'm going to go. I'm going to press. Barry, we just said that. I'm going to go. Reminds me of Can't Stop. Oh! I'm safe again. I'm going to press. i got to get this two. Come on, deuce! One. There's one. Uh, you know what? I'm going to stop there because it is a um, expertise, a rope. a rope. So I go here. I get two equipment cards. Ooh. I've got an ice axe and I've got rope. And this goes here because I'm done. Okay, I keep forgetting what my missions are. Oh, yeah, me too. Okay. GB Glazer, now, no worries, GB. Thanks for joining us. We are playing Seven Summit Summits from Deepwater Games. So far, the talk has been, and just what Michelle and I have been doing, it reminds us of, of a really cool version, um, uh, redo of, um, or inspired by Can't Stop. We're, we're digging it so far. Okay, so, oh, you know what? The last time that I got um, an expertise card, I didn't move this. So I do this. That was for this one. Yeah. Okay, and then I just moved to um, a place with a rope on it. Oh, okay. So I move this up, and then I get two cards. Correct. Okay. And we're you're doing teamwork as well, because I am there. So you move up the teamwork track. Oh, and this is kind of like... My little side. <laughs> yeah, so it's got the yeah, my little side, but yeah, it's got that whole thing of like, hey, we're you know helping each other up the mountain here. So Michelle, you get to move any one of your climbers one space. Oh. Yeah. Um. So if I land on a thing on a carabiner, can I take it? You may take it. Oh. Well, how about that? Oh, but this one, I'm so close to the top on that one. You know, I'm gonna take that one. Yep. Okay. Uh, so that is uh, teamwork. At most, each player may only gain one teamwork per turn. Okay. Uh, so continues. All players on that space move up one space on there. Oh, okay. So all players. So I also go there um, because it's both of us doing it. And the skill is move one of your climbers up one space on any mountain. I'm going to move up this one here. And I have summited, folks. You are welcome. Thank you. I have summited Punkak Jaya, and that'll get me four points at the end of the game. So, I like that teamwork thing. That's cool. That is, uh, you can immediately, or anytime you want, uh, turn that in to get a new equipment card. Oh, so that, like now. that's pretty nifty. Okay. Yeah. Um, all climbers. On a mountain, up two spaces. Do not collect rewards from any spaces landed on. Okay. Um, so that's it. Uh, this, uh, that's this round. Uh, yeah. Oh, did you want to turn that token in for one of these cards? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, might as well. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I don't. I oh, don't. you don't? I don't. Okay. Oh, you must, she must have them. Oh, if you have a mission... 
Um, let me see. If you have a mission with those tokens, I think you're just going to... Uh, you just... You keep it anyways. Let me see. Using skills. You know, anytime if you, uh, you may gain or... S it has to be under using... Uh, what are those called again? The discovery tokens. So I think you would use it and just sort of keep it on the side so we know how to, to score it. Um... So, I use it and keep it? Use it, and let's see, discard it. When you finish climbing, take that token, flip it over. Reveal. Yep, use it. Uh, use it once immediately, and then um, just save it so at the end, of, if you score, or during scoring, uh, it may affect final scoring. Okay. Yeah, so, so you got your extra card, and okay. just... Um, maybe I'll just put it right yeah, here yeah, perfect. so I know. Yeah, you use it. Thanks. Okay. Puppy Two Doors in the house. Thank you, Puppy Two Doors. Great name, by the way. Puppy Tudors, you know, I just saw your name pop up here. You followed <laughs> 19 hours ago. Uh, we <laughs> That's what it says on Twitch. So, uh, if you've never been here on our channel before, welcome. My name is Ruel Gaviola. This is my wife, Michelle. We play board games Monday through Thursday, 7 p.m. Pacific, here on Twitch. We do analog alerts, and since we have a new follower, well, it's 19 hours ago. It still counts in my book. Our follow, our Felicia the follow fish shows up. Felicia swims around, says hello, greets new followers, and then she takes off. And we all say, including the chat, bye, bye Felicia. Felicia. Thanks for the follow, uh, Puppy Tours. Much appreciated. Let's get back to the game. Whoop! Okay, so now. <laughs> There's all about Felicia the chat. Love it. I love it. Okay, we, so now we take all the dice in. Yeah, Roll. so now okay. it's Michelle's turn, and she's rolling all the dice in the game for tonight. Uh, the game ends when all of the uh, mountains have been summited. Okay. Do we have any climbers in the house? Anyone like mountain climbing or just hiking? We haven't hiked in a while. It's been a while. We used to. There's a place here in our city where you can get away from the city, you climb up, and there's a I don't know, about an hour's hike up, and there's a waterfall, which really cool. Like we went, we didn't expect it, and uh, we found about out about it, and went up there years ago when we were dating is when we went there huh yes yeah, so that was a while ago <laughs> we're, we're slackfish slackfish always appreciates our dating stories okay okay these are better rolls here okay and you will be first okay aye 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 okay so that's one panda two, with the audio three, four. one two three four then i get a thing okay that's one, two, three, four. I almost get a thing. Mm -hmm. That's one, two, one, two, three. Ooh, Ooh! I like that one. Yep. And here, one, two. I also get a thing there. Nice. And there I will <laughs> overshoot yeah. Mount Vincent. Okay, so I think I'm going to do this one okay. for three. So one, two, three, and I take that carabiner. Mm -hmm. Discovery token. Okay, discovery token. What does that mean? That means at the end of the game, that is worth two victory points. Oh, that's sweet. Yep. Okay, I'll put that right here. Okay. Um, Michael. What if I want to press on? Oh, Can if you I press on, that? then you cannot take that. It's when you end your turn, that's when you take stuff. Oh, okay, well, yeah. I'm going to take it. Okay, cool. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to... Let's go up Everest, folks. I'm going to take... Oh, wait. Wait, this is... <laughs> maybe I don't want to take that No, one. no, absolutely not. You don't want that one. No. How about this one over here? It's orange. No, you know what? I'm <laughs> going to take this green one, but I will go Kilimanjaro. One, two, three, four... Um, Jamie Glazer says, we love to hike. If you're ever up in the Bay Area, I can highly recommend a ferry ride to Angel Island. Ooh. If the fog plays nicely, um, you get some killer views of the city and Marin County from the peak. Nice. Oh, Thanks, Jamie. Awesome. Yeah, we would love to take you up on that. Um, I've been to, uh, what's not Angel Island. I've been to where? Uh, Alcatraz. Alcatraz. I've been to Alcatraz. And even, I mean, it is Alcatraz and stuff, but it's a totally touristy thing to do. But it does have a nice view of the city from there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Not not back in the day, I guess, but yeah, now as a tourist, uh, you know what? Can I take my one my one do over this game? Sure. I'm gonna do this one over. So in our house, we have a rule: uh, you get one do over per game. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, this dies here. I'm gonna use a card, uh, the rope. Move three spaces on a mountain where someone is ahead of you. So I'm gonna move here, um, one, two, three, and then I'm gonna end my turn there, or I'm gonna. Oh, wait, if I end my turn. Huh. GB Glazer says, fun fact. 
Angel Island is the Ellis Island of the West Coast, oh. a major immigration port of entry, nice. which would make sense. Okay, I'm going to... Yeah, you know what? Um, so I use this card, move three spaces on the mountain where someone is ahead of you. So I still need to take a die, though. So this is cool. I'm going to end there. So I get this, but I'm going to take a die somewhere else. That way I can take this discovery token, which is... Plus one on Elbrus. Where's Elbrus? Right there. So plus one on Elbrus. I've turned it in here. And I've landed on a preparation. So I go here, get two mission cards. One, two. Oh, I draw two and keep one. Um, I'll keep this one and dump this one. Okay, Stitch BC asks how does the end game trigger? Uh, when all seven mountains have been summited. <laughs> Speaking of summits, the LA Lakers and Dodgers reached the top of the mountain as reigning champs in their respective sports in 2020. FYI. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lucho AD. Well done. You are correct, my friend. I think Ruel has a new favorite. <laughs> that is, Lucho AD, you are my new favorite. Uh, so that's actually, I, I did this and I've, I've done the free stuff. Now I actually take a die and go. I am now going to take the four die and go up Everest. One, two, three, four. <gasps> I'm going to press. I need a one, two, three to summit the biggest mountain in the world. And I've rolled a four, four minus one. <gasps> one, two, three. Oh, did it. Yeah. Woo. Okay. Oh. So I've done Everest. Uh, that's the end of my turn. Oh, that was okay. with this guy. So I have... Um, Champs, yeah. I have... This card, Rope. It says, move three spaces on a mountain where someone is ahead of you. Yep. If you are at the summit, does that count as being ahead of me? Yep. Oh, this is a beautiful thing. Oh. Okay. Oh, it's not like I'm going to be able to catch you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I am going to... So, can I use this and this? Yeah, then? so you use that as free. So, you do... I'll go ahead and discard it and do the movement. Okay, so that's three. Mm -hmm. So that would be one, two, three. So I get a rope thingy. If you end your turn there. If I end my turn there, yeah. no, I'm not. Okay. So then I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this movement here four. Which I think I messed up on my turn. I'll go ahead and do your thing. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. So I am ending there. No, should I? Oh no. Should I? What's that? Should I end there? Where? Here. <laughs> oh, your, your call. What have I got to lose? Now, if you do roll that avalanche, you're going all the way to the bottom. Unless you have that card, right? If you roll an avalanche on the wrist die and are above the plateau, you cannot fall below it. Oh, that's okay, cool. Okay, I got okay. nothing to lose. Okay, so two. So I still can't move. Yeah. Unless you want to press on again. Oh, why not? Okay. <laughs> oh, another it's two. The same Michelle's thing. gonna go again. There we go. One. One. Yes. You did it. You did it. Okay. Nice. So then I go over here. Yep. But don't you go here? Because you're one. No, no, that's a number of victory points. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, I'm gonna go here with this three. One, two, three. Hey, that's teamwork. Right? Uh, teamwork when you finish by using skills or equipment that contains another. Oh. Is there equipment? No. Okay, so I don't actually. There is no teamwork there. It has to be uh, equipment or skills. Hmm. You have a special set of skills. Special set of skills. Okay, so I'm done. This goes here. It's your turn. I keep forgetting what my missions are. I know, me too. And I think I... Uh, I'm trying to. I think I messed up one thing, where I got this when I wasn't supposed to. So. It says plus one Elbrus, but I have to end my turn there. Like my turn, that wasn't. My turn was still continuing, technically. Okay. Is it my turn or your turn, then? Um, yours, no? Yeah, I think you're right. 
I should have one, uh, one, two climbers. All right, no, one, one, two, three. So three dice have been used. So one, two, three. Yeah, so my turn. Uh, Wait, I forgot. How does the game end? Uh, when uh, any climber, uh, as long as each mountain has been summited, doesn't matter okay. by who, um, the game will be over. Okay. okay. Oh, excuse me. I don't think I was supposed to get that Elbris bonus, but I'm going to go up this one here with two, one, two. I'll stop there to get plus one on Kilimanjaro. So oh, we so were both... No, wait. You were here. I was... Okay, now I caught up. Okay, so I had this one on plus one Denali, yeah, so... Yeah, you can use it. Okay. And I just put it here indicating I used it? Yep. But I keep the thing. Yep. Okay, so... Ooh. Oh, so that actually gives me another thingy. Very nice. Another clippy thingy. <laughs> okay, so plus one on Vincent. Oh, oh my gosh, she is summited. That's beautiful. Well done, okay, nice. So. Yeah, so already we're almost halfway through the game, folks. So as you can see, again, we're this a learning game, but this game moves pretty quickly. Um, just I, I, I'm liking it a lot, actually. It reminds me of Can't Stop, but with extra with goodies. Extra stuff, with yeah. Extra goodies. Okay. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to try... Uh, actually, no, I'm going to save that one. I will take this one here. Uh, one, two, three. Bruno's back. Bruno's back. And then Michelle has one her final turn, and then uh, we will end the round. Hey, Bruno. Hey, sweet boy. Okay. Okay. Um... Oh, all I can do is right here. Mm -hmm. okay, so one, two, three, four. Okay, so I will go ahead and take that action. And I'm going to just leave it there. Okay. And then this one here, you get... Um, toilet paper. Toilet papers. So, so draw two and keep one. Yep. Missions. Okay. Games of Fire thinks so she'd like this one as well. Yeah. This, this is a cool <laughs> little press your luck game, folks. And then, because you are on a skate uh, space shared by me, you get to move with the teamwork. Okay. Get the reward. Yay! So, I move to anywhere. Two spaces. Yep. <gasps> oh. Oh. I'll this could be that. delightful. You move any one of your climbers two spaces. Okay. You know what? I think I'm. Oh going to darn move it! Here. That's the one I wanted. Who earns? What okay. you got? I got. Um, plus one tool? Is that right? Uh, yeah. Equipment. Okay. Oxygen. Reapply the effect of a carabiner you have already claimed, except for plus two points. Oh, that's cool. Oh. Would you like to do that now? Well, let me see. Okay, so Vincent, I made... Yep. Um, Denali. Yes, I would like to move up one for this one. Oh. Okay. And you have... Also oh, I got more toilet paper. Toilet paper. Okay, so what does that mean? Plus one, minus one. That is, uh, on your turn, when you select a mountain die from now on, you may use it to climb an adjacent mountain instead of the mountain it corresponds to. <laughs> That's oh, cool. Oh, I like that. Okay. Okay. Now, because it's teamwork, I also get to do that, so I'm going to move two. Um, here. Some point? Oh, who wants to come back up? Okay. We're here. One, two... Uh, you know what, I'm gonna... Um, I'm gonna move up on Kilimanjaro, so one, two. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's That was a nice little turn, babe. Yeah. All right. Hey, yeah, Bruno. Again, oh, if you just joined us, folks, we are playing Seven Summits from Deepwater Games. I'm Ruel, that's Michelle, and that's our pug, Bruno. Yeah. He's hey, the Bruno. baby. He's the baby <laughs> boy. Uh, so let me get the dice ready here for the next turn. I will go first this turn. Uh, dice go back in here. I guess you're in charge of the dice now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so two, four, six dice. All right. A little hi to Bruno from Games of Fire. Hey, sweet Shake boy. these up here. Uh, I'll put it right here. Maybe we should have put his bow tie on so he could be a fancy boy. A <laughs> fancy pug. Okay, so three, purple two. Fancy boy. Uh, green two, blue four. Oh. Interesting. Oh. oh, bless you, Bruno. And three red. Are you going to stay over here, Bruno? Sorry. Okay. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to... Hmm. 
I'm going to go one here by using this. And I'm going to take the preparation skill. So from now on, I uh, plus one or minus one. That is, on my turn, I'm when I select a Q mountain die, I may use it to climb. Wait, is that adjacent? Oh, no, that's the wrong. I'm sorry. When you use a mountain die to climb, you may adjust its value by plus one or minus one. I misread that. So it's a plus one or minus one to any die you use. Oh, that's yeah. sweet. Yeah, that's good, too. So you um, can make it a five or a zero. Games of Fire says, my pups are on my lap, so Candy and Sasha <laughs> say hi to Bruno. You got some friends, Bruno. Oh, now he wants to get down. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Bruno. Oh, or no? No? Okay. Okay. <laughs> so. Is it my turn? Uh, yes. Which one do you like? Um. Oh, okay, hold up. Bye, Bruno. Bruno has to go down. Yep. Okay. Bye, Bruno. Hey, sweet boy. Okay, um, so if I do this one, it's one, two, three, four, but this was, this is plus or minus one, and is this an ongoing thing? Yes. Okay, well, you know, I think I'm going to have to do that. Okay. I'm going to move up four, or minus one, which is three, one, two, wait, did I want to do that? <laughs> yeah, do you want to sum it, or do you want that wait, discovery Wait, okay, token? was I here? I don't remember where it was. Uh oh. I think I was here. Yeah. Okay, so one, two, three. No, I do want to sum it. Okay. Okay, so there's that. So this goes up here. Yep. This goes up here. Nice. So we have one, two, three more, and then the game is over. Uh, I am going to use... I'm going to use my ice axe. So the ice axe, I re-roll any two mountain dice. So I'm going to re-roll uh, this one. And this one. And they're worse. <laughs> <laughs> one and a two. One and a two. <laughs> and I'm going to go here for the one and end there. So I go expertise. This is the one. From now on, I may use an adjacent. Ah, go okay. to an adjacent. Gotcha. Okay. Back to you. Okay. Um... So, I am going to do this one, one, two, and I'm going to use this power to Oof. go up here. So, I have Ugh. climbed to the summit of Denali. Nice. And I got four guys up there. Wow. Okay. Gen uh, Con is raiding with a party at 35. All right. Yay, Gen Con TV. <laughs> we know who that is. That are, that's the Brothers Murph. Thank you, Brothers Murph and Gen Con, for the raid. <laughs> Welcome to 2021, of course. Uh, my name is Ruel Gaviola. This is my wife, Michelle. Hello. This is Tabletop Tonight. Thank you for joining us. I want to shout out Mike Murphy. It is his birthday today. I hope you all had a great time celebrating Mike's birthday. Mike, happy birthday, brother. Happy Love you. Hope you have a great day, my friend, and thank you for the raid. We see Slivers coming in. Slivers, thank you for subscribing. That is seven months. Wow, I can't believe we have been doing this for that long. Thank you, Slivers. You've been wow. amazing. Um, we do analog alerts here, folks. If you've never seen the channel, we do stuff like this. Alert, alert. We have a new subscription. It's actually a renewed subscription. Thank you, Slivers. Always appreciate your support. Uh, friends, this is um, Seven Summits. This is a brand new game from uh, Deepwater Games. And uh, we are... <laughs> <laughs> Why do you encourage him, Slivers? <laughs> yes, Slivers. Slivers has spent 50 bits, folks. And uh -oh. Uh -oh, oh, Bruno almost got it. Oh, my gosh. Br this is Br our pug Bruno, this is his nemesis. But this is Benny the Bits Bear. Anytime you spend bits, I make an appearance and say hello. Unfortunately, Bruno is trying to chase me, so I need to say goodbye. <laughs> Thank you, Slivers. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bruno loves this bear. He really wants to tear it up. Bruno, don't look. Um, but his thank you for the support. Eyes are going to pop out of his head. Seriously. Oh, Bruno. <laughs> thank you for, for the uh, raid, Brothers Murph. Um, I think y'all were playing Merv earlier. I, I really need to play that game. Uh, Stitch says, I can't see, but are each summit scored in the same in first and second or third? No, uh, that's a great question, Stitch. Each one has different point values. Uh, since I was the first on... Hey, I'm going to get back to the game here. Whoop. Uh, since I was the first at Everest, I'm going to get 10 points. Uh, oh, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, Michelle has oh. summoned these two for five and four. And again, if you don't summon it, you don't get the points. Uh, we are going to get points based on our secret mission cards as well. 
Um, we need a Benny emo. Ooh, that's a good call, Slivers. Uh, we I think we need we to do. call up uh, Holly. Yeah, we'll have to uh, find out what's happening with uh, a Benny um, emo. Uh, we also have mission cards. Uh, these are uh, scored at the end of the game, and also discovery tokens and so forth. Um, what we've learned, and Chad has uh, also said, this is very much like uh, Can't Stop, but with cooler stuff. I mean, definitely a theme. There's a theme, but uh, some of the mechanisms are similar. It's like, um, Can't Stop with some hot sauce. Huh? Yeah, with a little <laughs> hot sauce for you. Um, it is, let me see here. So Bruno you, is going crazy right now. He's trying to look for Benny. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool. There are seven mountain tops of the game is aptly. Yes, it is based on uh, the uh, seven summits. These are each the highest mountains on the seven continents. And what's cool is uh, at the back of the booklet here, at the end of the rule book, they have the little facts and stuff about each mountain. I mean, honestly, I've not heard of some of these. I mean, I'm, I'm yeah. not, you know, into mountain climbing yeah. or even mountains. <laughs> yeah, like I've heard of like Kilimanjaro, yeah, uh, like the bigger Denali, ones. and Everest, yeah. But yeah, some of these I haven't talked. You know what's funny? I do, I really enjoy watching like mountain documentaries like on Netflix. Like those ones like, you know, Into the Void or anything where like people are climbing, climbing mountains. Up, yeah. I find it so fascinating. I mean, just it's death defying and everything else, but... I mean, Would you try it? I, I think when I was... I I wanted to try it, but I, I felt like I was too old by the time I wanted to try it. Like, I don't know, my knee isn't that uh, 100%, and just... I don't want to spend all that time going up that mountain. Like, if I was younger, I think I... You know, if I got into it when I was younger, man, I think I would have. I don't have time for that. I yeah, I don't, have to, I don't have time for that. Uh, <laughs> a Benny left heart emote and Lauren right heart would be cool. Oh, man, then you can put them together, Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's a good idea, Slurs. Lauren's face would be like this. <laughs> Lauren would be yeah. um, Let's see. So I, I was first this turn. So you go, then I... No. Um, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you should have the last up. So it's my turn now. Then you'll have the final one to go. Very sweet boy. Uh, let me go... Oh, okay. Uh, one, two, three. Um, I can do a plus one or a minus one. You know what? I'm going to push. So here's the thing. Or press. I'm going to press my luck by going here. I have pressed successfully for a 1. I'm going to press again. I'm going to try to get up to this mountaintop. I've got a 2. It has to be exact. So no danger there. But I have this ability. So 2 minus 1 is 1. So I have summited Vincent. Vincent, yeah. And then Michelle, her final turn. She gets that die there. But um, I'm already at the top. Yep. So you use that to go Everest. Oh, yeah. okay, so I can move this guy up to three. Yep. Okay, so one, two, three. Would you like to press? Now, if you press on Everest, you roll both the risk dice. In addition to this? Correct. Sure, why not? What have I got to lose there? That's the spirit. <laughs> Everest. Everest. Okay, so I got four Whoa. and then those two. So what does that mean? You are safe and you go four. Okay, so one, two. Yep. Where was I? Uh, two, three, and then four. Four? Above the plateau. Woohoo! Yeah. I'm going to push. I mean, okay. press. Press, yeah. Press. Because I have my emergency beacon. Yeah, the beacon is nice. Oh, Lord, or Lord. Michelle has the beacon. If you roll oh. avalanche on the wrist die and are above the plateau, you cannot fall below it. Normally, when you roll an avalanche, you go all the way to the bottom. Okay, so I did roll an avalanche. but okay. So does that negate these two? Uh, no. What, yeah, what it does is avalanche, you discard that card to so you don't fall. Okay, so that basically gets rid of... Uh, that's the end of your turn, because once you roll oh. that, it's the end of the turn. Oh. Yeah. So I'm under the snow. You, you Well, you're, at least you're, you're still above the plateau. <laughs> okay, so now you are first to turn uh, this turn. We okay. are almost done, folks. Uh, the game ends when the seven mountains have been summited by any player, or both. And then we'll count up points. Okay. All right. Oh, Bruno's still looking. Bruno's looking for Benny. You should see his little eyes. Hey, <laughs> Where's Benny? Out of his head. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right. Uh, probably the last turn of the game, folks. Okay, so there's this one. I don't even know where some of these mountains are. Yeah, and that's what, what's cool about the book. I mean, we can you know totally learn about where these are. Like Mount Elbrus, that's Europe in southern Russia. Mount Vincent is Antarctica. 
Uh, you are first. Sister. I am first. Okay, so um, I am going to use this one to move up um, Mount Everest. Okay. Okay, so I have to. I have to roll. Oh uh, no! So go ahead no, and take I move that. that first. Yep. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Nice. Okay, and now if you I want to press. Um. Oh, yeah, you might have cars that do, too. Well, I have the headlamp one. What's that? Move all climbers on a mountain up two spaces. Do not collect rewards from any spaces landed on. So can I use that here? Yeah. Okay. Is it all? What is it? Move all climbers on a mountain. Oh, on a mountain. Uh, you're yeah. already at the top. Okay. okay. So one, two. Okay. Nice. Um, oh, so I'd have to roll a one. Yeah. Oh, but I have this. Yeah, so it does help you a little bit. Okay, so can I use my other headlamp and this power? Uh, that one only... Um, if I roll the dice. For the dice, yes. Okay, I think I'm going to stop there. Okay. 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 So um, where does this go now? That Here? Just, yeah. Okay. Cool, cool. I am going to... One, two, three. I want to... I want to get up here, so I'm going to use this for three. One, two, three, and then it's a plus one, so it's actually a four. So I have summited Kilimanjaro. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six of the seven mountains. I, I forgot we had one more here. Hi, sweet boy. And it's back to Michelle. Okay, so I am going to use... Well, yeah, this one I have to. Or, no, 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 no. If I use this one, then I can use this power, right? Is that correct? If I use this, because that's two uh -huh. minus one, and that'll get me up to the top. Oh, is yeah. That right? Yeah, that is correct. Okay, so I'm using this bad boy. We're going up one. Woohoo! I made right. it to the top of Everest. Yes. Well done. I'm afraid of heights. Let me down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am going to go up. Yeah, I'm going to go up here. So with this three, one, two, three, with a plus one, four. Um, I don't want to pass. Oh, actually, we might we might survive one more round. Oh, yeah, I think we're going to go one more round. I'll stop there. Okay. Um, so since I'm up at Everest now, my guy's here, my guy's here. What can I do? I don't have... I just have these two here. Oh, you do have that power? Oh, wait, you don't have that power. That's unlocked, huh? So I... Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah I think so what do I do? I don't... There's nothing else I can do. I think you just pass, yeah. Okay, so I'm just... Yeah, I'm tired from climbing all these mountains <laughs> yeah. and the rest. <laughs> uh, on your turn, select one and then you place... If you cannot climb... Oh, if you cannot climb any mountain using available dice, uh, select a die, place it on top of the board... Uh, and then you get to draw an equipment card. What do you mean, place it? So, on top okay, of the so um, just like put it like you would normally do for a turn. Okay. But since you can't move anyone, you get this as your um, your makeup. Okay, so you can't move yep. because I took that. Okay. Nice. See? Hey. That's how it feels. Hey. <laughs> okay. Bruno. Hey, sweet boy. Yeah. Okay. Now, <laughs> Bruno's just barking away. This is making me laugh because it sounds like something else. Can I put it on the board? Uh, sure. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Michelle's laughing at this, folks. Uh, crampons move up one space on two different mountains. Now, why would you laugh at that? <laughs> well, you know, if it's that time of the month, <laughs> this oh, will be, boy. you know, pretty useful. Okay, so move one. So I can do this action now? Yep. Okay, I will do that. So there's... Oh, look. I got toilet paper there. I got toilet paper here. Okay. But you're already maxed out on those anyway, so you're good. Oh, never mind. Okay. I needed expertise. Cool, cool. Okay. All right, so I'm going to use uh, this four. I can use it because I've unlocked it with my expertise. So one, two, three, four. Um, go there. Uh, I am going to press. Uh, two and an avalanche. Uh, I have my emergency beacon, so I do not go past the plateau. That is the end of my turn. We go one more round. Okay. Okay. There's the dice. I want to thank everyone for hanging out with us on this Monday fun day. Again, shout out to Mike Murphy. It was his birthday today. And Had I known, I would have busted.
bus to Dell with my ukulele. Oh, I had yeah. to practice my happy birthday. That's right. I told my students, you know, I, I bribe them and I tell them, you know, well, if you do this, I'll bust out with my ukulele and I'll play happy birthday. And I'll also play this other song, which will also sound like happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. So I believe this may be the final round because okay. uh, we're close to summiting that final yellow mountain. Is that a verb? Summiting? I, I think so. I'm not really sure. You're making it one. I'm <laughs> making it a verb myself. Okay. So. I was first last turn. You were first last turn. Okay, so me. <coughs> Is that going to get me there? One, two, three, four. Plus, plus, plus one. one. Yep. <gasps> yes. Okay. okay, so I'm going to move my meeple up here to Aconcagua. Aconcagua. Okay, so it was four, and I have that power to subtract one. Yep. So, so each mountain has now been summited by at least one climber. This is the final round. We just play out the final round, then we do a scoring. Uh, so I'm going to go... One, two, three. What's closer here? I can go there. I'll go here. One, two, three, and I have a plus one. Four. So I have summited Denali. And it's back to Michelle. Okay, so I'm going to use this power here. Oh, not this power. I'm going to move up three and then use my plus one power. So one, two, three, plus one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take that carabiner. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Um, that is, I think that's plus two on Everest. Yep. Oh, just on Everest? <laughs> just on Everest. Oh, because that would have got me to the top of Kilimanjaro. Uh, okay, I will. You want to press? Oh, wait, you can't because you stopped and took that. Yeah. Did you want to press anyways? I feel like, you know. No? no? Okay. Uh, I'm going to go on this. Let's see. I need to go up here, right? Oh, no. I race. Um, you s Did I summit that? Did I move the wrong figure there? No. Oh, yeah. I moved. And I, I just didn't put it there. Okay. okay. Yeah, because I used my plus one. Because it was four plus one. Okay. Um, so I have this here two one two plus one three i'm gonna press do it do, do it, it do it do it so i need a one two three i have rolled a one, one and a one minus so it's zero it's a negative so that is the end of my turn okay so wait did i oh i didn't move this oh yeah that should be at the okay. top okay Uh, I don't, there's nothing I can do. Nothing else you can do. So you just move a die up and take the card. Okay. Um, yeah. And I will do the same. And the game is over, folks. Uh, now, Michelle and I are just going to look at our... Uh, so your equipment card. My I've got a final GPS navigator. Treat a die as a one or two of any color. So I'm just going to discard that. Okay, I have that same one. Same one. And this one. You also have Michelle. Also oh, had wait, the I could have moved. Move all climbers up two right? spaces. Yeah. Okay, so one, two. Oh, that's perfect. So that headlamp actually helps Michelle summit uh, Kilimanjaro. Very nice. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, uh, now we're gonna look at see which missions we completed. I had Alpine Expert. So this is one of them. Reach the end of expertise skill track, which I did here. So that's gonna be points. I also have the African Champion, Summit Kilimanjaro, the green one, which I did. So that's three points. And finally, the Expedition Guide, Climb Above Every Plateau, which I barely did. So I'm going to get another three. Okay, so... Michelle had the Trailblazer, most or tied for most first place summits. Um, I think you're going to be okay with it. Yeah. 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 So Wait, I got, first I got place four. for first place. Oh, first place. Oh! You have one, two, three first places. I have one, two, three... But you most are tied. You will get the two points. Extra. Okay, sweet. Very nice. Michelle is also the mountaineer. Most or tied for most discovery tokens. You have the most of those for sure. So <laughs> another three. And brave explorer, one point for every two discovery tokens you've claimed. Okay, so that's one, two, three. Another three. In addition to that. Okay. Uh, we're gonna need some uh, paper and pencil. Okay. 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 I shall magically make some up here. Thanks. Yeah, so again, folks, um, we're going to score the victory points on the mountains that we have summited. 
uh, then we will get points um, based on any discovery tokens and then our mission cards. And that'll be it. Thank you. De nada. Okay. So your mission tokens or missions, two, five, eight for me. Okay, so I have two, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, okay. Also. Same. Okay. Uh, do any of your tokens have victory points? Yes. Okay. So two and. Then that was it. No, okay. Yep. So nice. Two. Mine don't, don't. And then you just get the points on the victory tracker. Here, I'll give you your points. So okay. uh, two points mm -hmm. plus five points plus four points, plus six points, plus six points, five, and four. Okay. Okay. Gracias. De nada. And then while Michelle does that, I'll look at mine. Let me move these back here. Okay, so I'll start here. So four, six, four, Bruno, Bruno's barking Bruno, again. Barking. Okay, and I don't get any points for that one. So I did not summit one of the mountains. Hey, Bruno. Hi. Are you looking for Benny? He is looking for Are Benny. Are you looking for Benny? Let me just double check. Okay, I have my final score. Hey, Legends DM, thanks for joining us. Good to see you here. We're just finishing seven summits from Deepwater Games. Fun little press your luck game in the vein of can't stop. I didn't add this correctly. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> so I just, you know, I, I think Michelle got me because of those missions. I have 37, folks. Yeah, Michelle, good, good job, Michelle from Stitch BC. Thank you, Stitch. Hold on. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to be fancy here. How'd you do? Is that right? 32? 32, really? I yeah. thought you had more. Did okay. I skip something? <laughs> you know, well, let's do it like this. Uh, go ahead and get your calculator. So okay. I have five, six, seven, eight for your missions. Uh -huh. Two for that piece. Mm -hmm. And then um, let's look at here. You have four plus uh, nine plus 12 plus nine plus two. Okay, yeah, yeah that, I was right the first time. Yeah. 42. 42, Michelle, GG, good game. 42. I'm tired from climbing these mountains. I know. <laughs> Whoop. Uh, folks, that is a Seven Summits from Deepwater Games. I like this game. Oh, I, me too. This is our first time playing it, folks. We had just started playing uh, Can't Stop, which is up there on our shelves, and that's a classic. This is like a modern version with, with actually a cool little theme of climbing. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm really liking this one. I, yeah, yeah, I like this one too. Yeah. I uh, want to thank uh, Nolan and Deepwater Games for sending the copy out. It is now available for, available for pre-order, friends. If you go to the Deepwater Games website, um, I believe it's going to be released the, later this month. I'm not oh, sure. It's uh, not even out yet? Yeah, it's not out yet. Yeah, oh. this this was uh, sent to us uh, by uh, Nolan and his team. Um, but it is will be out at the end of this month sometime, according to the website. Uh, I am in CPK right now. Hey, right on, Legends. Thanks for joining us from CPK. I <laughs> uh, hope you're having a good uh, barbecue chicken pizza. or I think that's what we used to get, right? Um, no, I don't like barbecue chicken pizza. Oh, really? What, was the, what did we get? I, well, I used to get the taco pizza. Taco pizza, that's it. I know the barbecue is the famous one, but yeah, taco pizza. Uh, deadpan, yes, well played, uh, Michelle, well played. Uh, so that's it, folks. I uh, want to thank you again for hanging out. Thank all the Raiders for sticking around as, uh, as well. Um, tomorrow I will be reading at 9 a.m. Pacific a Star Wars book, uh, Chapter 1 of the New High Republic novel. So please join me if you want to just hang out and you know listen to me read for about a half hour or so. Um, as far as gaming, tomorrow, 7 p.m., I'm going to be joined by Amanda Panda and Ben Osteen, our friend Ben. Uh, we're going to be playing the Red Cathedral. So it's going to be a lot of fun. That's from DeVere Games. So until then, th thanks again for all the new follows and uh, the bits, folks. Uh, Stitch, welcome to the Fam Bam. Head back to work. Uh, have a great day at work or a great night at work. Uh, stay safe. And anything before we get going, Ben? Uh, no, I just, this is a really fun game. I like it. I like it, yeah, too. I like it a lot. I think we're going to have to... We need to make room here, so we need to get rid of some of this Yeah, we're going to be moving here. some games here. Uh, but, yes, uh, thank you. Stick around for a raid. We're going to find someone to raid. Uh, be here. Um, and, oh, by the way, well, final thing. January 30th, Saturday, the end of this month, we're doing another Tabletop Live Network event. It's going to be awesome. 
24 straight hours, 12 streamers, two hour blocks, back to back to back. We're going to raid each other for a full 24 hours this time. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, me, uh, us, the brothers Murph, um, Paula Deming, Matthew Jude, uh, Board Game Blitz, all kinds of great uh, streamers, folks. Please join us uh, January 30th. Um, that's uh, Saturday. Yeah, it might be <laughs> someone's birthday. Uh, don't worry about that. Come on. Anyways, there's a lot of great streamers. It's going to be a lot of fun. So hopefully you join us there. Um, we're going to raid someone. and uh, So stick around for that. Uh, I'm going to shut things down here. And on behalf of Michelle and Bruno, who's still looking for Benny the Bits Bear, have a great night, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Bye.